Oh, hello, my friends. Again, it's getting so close to Christmas. Santa and I and the elves and the reindeer and all the other helpers, we have just been working hard for you. It's been quite a week at the North Pole, but I wanted to share with you one of our favorite stories at the North Pole. And it is called The Elves and the Shoemaker. A long, long time ago, in a small house, there lived a shoemaker, or a cobbler is another name for a shoemaker. He lived with his wife, and he had a very special workroom that he would go into every day to cut the leather and to lay it out so that he could stitch and sew it together, then bring it to his shop and sell it. But this year had been a pretty hard year for them. There had been a war going on and he couldn't sell as many shoes as he would like. But nonetheless, he was down to his last bit of leather. He and his wife enjoyed a nice meal and then he said, my dear, this is my last piece of leather. I do not know how it will be, but we'll find a way to have a Merry Christmas anyway. And the woman said, oh dear, we always find a way to have a Merry Christmas, even if times are hard. So that night he went into his workshop room and he took the leather and he cut it out. And you can cut it out too. One sole for this shoe, another sole for the other shoe, then the sides of the shoe, the back of the shoe, and the toe of the shoe. He put all the pieces of leather out on his workspace. And being so tired from the day, he and his wife went to sleep. Early in the morning when he rose, he found a pair of shoes completely made in his workbench. <gasps> he looked at him. My goodness, I didn't make these shoes. Who would make these shoes? They're so finely done. It's a miracle. He brought him in to his wife and she looked at him. Oh, these are the most beautiful shoes I've ever seen. How did it happen? What a miracle we have had, my dear. So the man brought him into his shop. And a woman came in that day and saw the shoes, tried them on. Oh, they're a perfect fit. I will take them and I'll pay you twice the usual price. <gasps> the man was very happy and the woman bought the shoes. And on his way home, he was able to find some bread and some cheese to celebrate. He brought it in and said, my good wife, this good woman came in and brought those shoes. And I brought us some bread and cheese. Ah, that is so wonderful, my dear. I'm so happy for us. Now, we need to hide in the workplace tonight. You cut out the shoes that you were able to buy with the two pieces of leather. Let's see, who did this, my dear? So they had their dinner of bread and cheese. Then they went into the workroom. And he cut out the leather for two pair of shoes. Then they hid in the closet. And when the clock struck 12, can you make that happen with me? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Into the workroom came two little elves. They jumped onto the workbench and they stitched and sewed and stitched and sewed until two pair of shoes were finished. They jumped down and they ran out into the night. The shoemaker and his wife came out of the closet. They looked at the shoes. Oh my gosh, who would believe it was elves? But did you notice? Hmm. Their clothes were all tattered and torn and they had no shoes on, my dear. 
Oh, why? Why don't we surprise him for Christmas? I can make him shoes and a leather pants and a hat and vest. Oh, I can make them a white shirt and stitch them some stockings. And we'll leave that as a surprise and a thank you for them. Well, the man brought those shoes into his work bench and out into his shop. And a man came in and saw the shoes, tried them on. They were a perfect fit. He said, these are just what I need. I'll pay you twice the usual price. Well, the man thanked him with gratitude. And on his way home, he was able to buy a little bit of meat for their Christmas Eve dinner. And some bread and some noodles. When he came home, his wife was so surprised to have some meat for dinner. They hadn't had it for many months. She began to cook it and soon the house smelled of the fragrance of the roasting meat. After they had their delicious Christmas Eve dinner, into the workroom they went. The man had made a perfect little green leather hat, one for each elf, and a green leather vest and green leather pants. And the woman had knitted the stockings and sewed little white shirts. They laid them all down right on the work pinch. And they waited into the closet again. And the clock struck 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And into the room came the little elves. They were dancing all about. And then they jumped up on the workbench. And when they saw the clothes, they were astonished. Clothes for us? Nobody ever thinks about us. With that, they took off their tattered and torn clothing and they started putting on the shirt and the stockings and the little green vest and the pants and the hat. And what I didn't tell you about was the shoemaker had made them little green shoes and they put them on and they fit perfectly. And then they began to dance around. Now we are boys so fine to see. We need no longer cobblers be. Now we are boys so fine to see. We need no longer cobblers be. And they danced off into the night. And every year around Christmas Eve, they return again. And the shoemaker and his wife make fresh clothes for them. And that is one of the favorite stories of the North Pole. I hope you enjoyed it.